Welcome back guys. Today's a beautiful day here in mid-Michigan and it's planting day. Planting of brassicas, which today's going to be a mixture of forage radishes, turnips, and rape. And we're going to get that started here in a few minutes. Uh, I've got a field to work up and fertilize uh, to go here. Uh, that'll be my big field. I'll show you what happened to that after I, uh, I went through and disked it up and what happened to all that clover. It's getting pretty interesting. And then we'll go ahead and get it fertilized and start planting. So stay tuned. Well, as you can see, here's my uh, big food plot. And I think this is a little bit different angle than what I've showed you on this plot before. But this right here was that left side that I talked about in my other videos. Um, where this was all clover. As you can see, I've disked this, this field all up. And what's happened, this has been about a week or so. Um, this clover just basically starting to come back. And anyone, any of you that have a clover field that you start seeing getting taken over by weeds or whatever, um, disking it's a way to kind of bring it back to life. It'll set the grasses back, but as you can see, the clover bounces back really fast. You know, only a week and it's already starting to grow back. Um, probably give it another week and it'll it'll be even better. So one another uh, tip there for any of you trying to grow, grow clover, if you start seeing a lot of weeds taking over your clover plot, you can always set it set the weeds back a little bit by disking it. And also, as you noticed in my other videos, uh, spraying it with glyphosate is another way to set the weeds back. It sets the clover back a little bit, but clover's pretty hardy uh, plant, and it, it'll bounce right back from it. So, just a couple tips there on uh, maintaining clover fields. Okay, here we go guys, uh, just got done putting the lime down. Uh, spread the lime across this half acre at a rate of uh, 400 pounds per acre. So do the math, I just put 200 pounds down on uh, my half acre here. And now I'm getting ready to put on my fertilizer. And I've got two fertilizers I'm putting on, uh, triple 19 and uh, urea. And so the triple 19 is going down at uh, 200 pounds an acre and the urea is going down at 150 pounds an acre. Um, so go ahead and get that applied right now and then once I'm finished with that I'll do a light disking over the top just to work it into the soil and then it should be ready to uh, for the planting. Okay hey guys, well, my uh, phone had died, so I wasn't able to get the video of me uh, doing the initial cult of packing. Um, but that's done now, 
and I've also now put my uh, my forage radishes down and so now those are are broadcast and next I'm going to uh, broadcast the turnips and the rape okay guys so here's a couple tricks for you when you're broadcasting brassicas by hand and one of the things the key things is not to over uh, or spread them too thick and in order to do that you have to make sure you don't overlap on your rows make sure you put the right seed amount down so a couple things that I do uh, first of all in terms of getting the rows um, you see here I've got a stake and I put a, a baggie on to it and that because I've got such a, a long field here um, it's so long that if I don't have something to guide myself as I'm walking down I'll start to you know go all over the place and I might overlap my rows too much and put too much seed in, seed down so what I do is I'll set up my spreader down here on the ground that's in line with my one of my other stakes on the other end of the field and then what I do for my particular spreader it's about three paces over to make my next row so I'll take my next stake put that down three paces over so now when I get down to the other end this one's already in place for my way back and so I just keep doing that all the way across the field just working my way across the other thing I do in terms of seed rate is actually measure out my seed so I'll actually weigh it all out and make sure I got the right amount for the, the amount of acres I'm planting and like I've said before I'm planting uh, five acres uh, five acres not five acres I'm at planting five pounds an acre of forage radishes uh, three pounds an acre of purple top turnips and two pounds an acre of uh, of rape so that's how I've had it got it set up and if you don't have a a scale to weigh out your seed what you can do is these particular seeds are really small and what you can do is get yourself a measuring cup and I'm gonna give you a little trick here a little hint one cup full of these small little brassica seeds is about a third of a pound maybe about 0.3 pounds so that's a, probably a pretty good guide if you don't have a scale just get yourself a measuring cup and use that to determine you know how many cups you need for depending on what size food plot you got so a couple tricks there I think if you do that you're gonna be in good shape in terms of uh, not overseeding your plot and giving yourself a, a good ch chance of getting a nice thick big growth of brassicas um, you, you'll you'll be you'll be surprised how good it'll turn out so if that that helped what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this all spread it out um, the only thing I'll have left to do after that is call to pack the field and I'll show you me doing that afterwards but once that's done then this field is done and it's time to do the rain dance because we're gonna need rain um, we've had rain the last few days but the forecast isn't calling for anything for maybe at least another week so crossing the old fingers praying for rain I grab my steak and I'm gonna go three paces over from here I'm ready to go again There you go guys showing you how to put brassicas into the ground it's not very hard just follow those easy tips that I showed you today and you're gonna have a great brassica food plot coming this fall just go ahead and get started you probably got a few more weeks yet to go to get them into the ground even if you live up north like I do there'll be plenty of time uh, for those things to grow you'll be able to get nice uh, radishes and uh, nice bulb uh, 
softball size uh, turnips coming up uh, this fall into your food plot. So if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. If uh, you want to see other videos like this, I'll have few, uh, more videos in the future showing the same food plot. Go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel. If you have missed a couple of the videos that I've had uh, recently on how to spray food plots, those will be uh, right here. So you can go ahead and click those and uh, follow some of the tips that I had in uh, those videos. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.